Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of Emmerdale have hailed the recent episode's Kim Tate opening scene, dubbed it the best opening scene of 2024. The sequence from yesterday's episode, which aired on Wednesday, September 25th, centered on Kim and Will, who are divorcing at the moment. Social media has been used by fans of Savage Kim to express their delight at the scenario since they can't get enough of her Emmerdale, Kim vs. Will. Last week, Kim Tate divorced Will from Emmerdale after he refused to tell her about his passionate night out with her ex-girlfriend Rose. After using extortion to get Will to dig a cemetery, Kim told him their marriage was over and set him on a bizarre quest. Kim had assumed that the divorce would be straightforward, but Will had seen a renowned attorney and returned to Home Farm earlier this week, telling Kim that his attorney had advised him not to go. Living together hasn't gone well for the two, but they now have to deal with it. After calling Kim a trollop past her sell-by date, Will accused her of being attracted to her money alone. Fans especially enjoyed their conversation at the beginning of yesterday's broadcast, and it appears that this back and forth will continue. Kim got her retribution in Emmerdale. The theme song from Billie Eilish's Bad Guy introduced the show. Kim came into the kitchen and Will was seen preparing a sandwich. A knock on the door coincided with the playing of the words, I'm the bad guy. Kim fixed Will with a look that made him give up and go answer the door. Kim let go of a piece of Will's bread and it fell to the ground. She picked it up and placed it back on the chopping board after carefully standing on it while wearing shoes. She put some cheese on top so Will wouldn't see the dirt. When Will came back, Kim was smiling behind him as he finished assembling his sandwich and took a large chunk. This scene was adored by viewers, who have been gushing about it on social media. The opening moment of Emmerdale has left fans obsessed. Tonight's Emmerdale opening scene was truly the best opening scene of 2024 for me. A viewer commented on X, Kim threw Will's lunch on the floor, put it back, and allowed him to eat it while Bad Guy was playing. Amazing! Infatuated with tonight's opening scene while making a sandwich and Kim sabotaging it while Billie Eilish's song Bad Guy plays in the background, commented another admirer. The third fan commented, it's iconic to see them as bad guy. Bad guy playing while Kim and will aggressively make Brecky and taunt each other, this is camp and amazing, said another viewer. Kim deserves everything. Next week's Emmerdale spoilers show that Moira's actions get worse as more sheep perish under her supervision. Will she consent to take a break from work and relax? In another scene, Arthur flirts with John while he subsequently makes a huge falsehood about their encounter in an attempt to appear mature. Next week's Emmerdale spoilers include all of this and more. Spoilers for Emmerdale 1. Moira quits her job. Mac is concerned about Moira's unpredictable behavior, and his anxiety increases when he discovers that the sheep have fled. Maddie and Mac observe that a large number of the sheep are still. Subsequently, Moira learns that one sheep is in poor condition and the most of the sheep had died. She becomes agitated and concedes that she must temporarily stop working when she finds it difficult to recall what happened. Point two. Ruby and Moira have an intimate conversation. Ruby and Moira had an intense conversation after the barn fight. Ruby opens up to Moira about her health concerns and her mother's cremation. Point three. Aaron pilfers things from John's van. Following his car's observation as it leaves the scene of the crime, PC Swirling confronts Aaron regarding some stolen smartwatches. After pretending to be innocent, Mac recommends that they use John's vehicle to store the smartwatches, which intrigues Aaron. Aaron takes the keys when John is preoccupied and won't let him borrow the van. After that, Aaron and Mac pack the vehicle with the pilfered watches. But when Aaron goes about carrying out his plan, he notices that the watches are missing from the van. What happened to them? Spoilers for Emmerdale 4. Charles and Laurel talk about their liaison. Nicola is curious about the situation between Laurel and Charles. When the truth is revealed, Nicola wonders why the relationship is finished. After talking about their brief encounter, Charles and Laurel conclude that calling it quits is the responsible course of action. They quickly give in to temptation once more, though, and Arthur catches them. Though Laurel begs him not to tell anyone, the secret is soon out. 5. Arthur lies a lot. Arthur flirts with John in an attempt to show April that he is a grown-up. 
Then, he tells April a falsehood, claiming to have had sex with John. Laurel listens and is incensed at the information. Arthur is horrified when she confronts John after finding him in the woolpack, and John refutes her claims. 6. Jai learns of Charles and Laurel. Arthur spills the beans in the bar about Laurel and Charles's liaison because he is furious. Jai is taken aback at hearing this. What kind of response will he get? Spoilers for Emmerdale, 7. Chaz develops a fresh rash. Liam gets a worrisome look from Chaz about a fresh rash. After getting to know her, he finds himself lying to Ella about his time spent with Chaz. Does he feel anything towards Chaz? Viewers eventually learned what was wrong with Moira Dingle in an exciting episode. The events that followed the fire that had been going since Monday and Wednesday after Moira and Ruby's altercation opened the hour-long episode on Thursday, September 12th. Viewers witnessed almost all of the attendees safely departing from Butler's Farms Barn Fire. Fans were worried, though, when they failed to spot Moira, Kane, or Nate, who was last seen in the fire on Wednesday night. While it was a relief for the audience to see Moira being carried out of the barn by Kane, the drama continued when it was discovered that she was unconscious. Coughing and breathing, Moira woke up just in time to see ambulances and firemen arrive. All appeared to be well, until Chaz saw that what was nowhere to be seen. Fortunately, Mac discovered him unconscious on the lawn and alerted others to the situation. Chaz soon located the two of them and dialed 911. Leeds Live claims that after his phone rang, it stopped working. In the meantime, Tracy noticed John coughing in the village and, when he admitted he hadn't visited the hospital for a checkup, she motioned for Liam to come see how he was doing. One of the residents told her that Nate had gone to Shetland Green without her or Frankie, but she still didn't know he was close to the barn. Kane tells Chaz Moira is stable at the hospital. He still remembers their quarrel about her kissing Nate, though. After waking up, Moira tells Kane that while she can't remember everything, she still wants to tell him what she can. She is interrupted by Kane, who says she has forgotten who she is. Moira shares her worry that she isn't recognizing herself and that she thinks her problems go beyond menopause. Kane says he wouldn't have just left her when she tells him that he must still love her because he saved her from the fire. The action then switches to Ruby telling Caleb what happened on the day of the fire. She reveals that Moira called her Emma and didn't realize she was the one who ignited the fire. As the story goes on, Moira tries to tell Kane what happened and how she saw Emma. But in the middle of their talk, Moira calls out for assistance after suffering from a seizure. Kane feels that Moira is not quite right at this point. He tells Caleb that he feels bad for not trusting her at first because he saw her act out. A nurse shows up right as Caleb is about to divulge what Ruby said. They want to know about Moira's medical history because they think this is the first time it has been discussed. The nurse then says that in order to find out what's going on, a CT scan will be performed. Moira waits a while before learning the results of her scan, which show that she has a lump on her brain. She is informed that in order to learn more, she needs to have an MRI. She sends Maddie home after a visit without telling him about her illness. But Moira confides in Kane, crying, knowing that something is wrong. When Kane tries to reach Nate, his voicemail is all that is heard. Reaching the hospital's exterior for some much-needed fresh air, he tells Caleb what Ruby had stated. Kane admits that everything she said was true, and he apologizes for how he felt before the fire. He's now wondering how to tell their kids and other family members. However, Kane is overburdened since Nate is nowhere to be found. Will he ever find out what's going on? Following Kane's threat and Belle's disclosure of Tom's abusive behavior, fans have also observed that Tom has vanished. The Dingle family believes he may have passed away. As this is going on, Will keeps getting messages from an unidentified blackmailer, which raises suspicions about the two missing characters. The fans have begun to conjecture. I'm guessing they'll find a body in the barn tomorrow and they'll think it's Tom, with the family thinking he's been done in by Kane, only for it to be Nate.